Hello, everybody. I'm Edwin Jr. Welcome back to the Social Wayne. Who do you want to play with? Name with me. Welcome to your next game of Fleet End. Well, well then, you can pretend. I can, I'm here. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were there. But I got them waiting for you. Thanks. There you go. I like to sit down. No problems. So, yeah. Anyone do is the cutest, is he? Well, I'm back here from a dollar with the Stoucher Lane. It's the part of the month. Well, for I take, I take a Halloween classic of a feeling and see how it all is up. Now, I've been busy for a week, so luckily I'm back here again. Now, now, now today's movie that we're going to be feeling is Cabin in the Woods. Now, I got this movie. Movie on DVD. DVD. It's a must see. No, must see. I have never seen such a film, but the phoning by based on people who are thinking of this. I was to. Yes. Let me tell you. Yes. Let me tell you. And tell you. And maybe spoil. Now, people may say this is going to be spo spoiler free. But let me tell you. I have never seen a film that has such a bunch of the phoning by based on people who have dedicated themselves not to not spoil the movie. It's a. It's amazing. I mean, every time you talk to someone, you always say, I cannot tell you anything about it. You just have to see the movie. And all about that, I won't spoil it either. No. No, do I have to talk a little bit about it? But still, we're going to keep this mostly spoil free. This week. Now, now, what can I say about this movie? It's amazing. I'm not going to lie. It's amazing. It has a lot of great awesomeness. Yes. Now, as you all know, it, uh, us, it was produced by Josh Sweden. You know, the guy who gave us the Avengers movie. And this film relies on surprises and twists around Epping Corner. So, like I say, I won't give too much away. What I can say on the service then it looks like any other scale will. Mm -hmm. Movie. Yes. Now, it's all. Now, it's. Mm, now. Okay, hold on a second. As you can see, that stores about that that stores about that stores a bunch of students. On the summers it's like that. We, we have Kristen Connolly as Data Paul no, Poke Poke, Chris Hensbob as Kurt Vaughn, Anna Hutchison as Jules Loden, Frank Kraz as Marty Mikowski, excuse me, I don't know that. and Jesse Wesley Williams as Holden Bequia. Yeah. And no, but no, yes, now there are a bunch of cons skins, and they go to a cabin in the middle, middle, middle of nowhere. And of course, much like the evil dead movies, some supernatural evil tries to destroy them. It sounds basic. It sounds basic, basic enough. It's more like the evil dead movies, which I could kind of understand. It's kind of like the evil. Dead, it's kind of like the evil dead franchise, but as the film progresses, you find them in the front quickly. That this, that this is a le level to not just Evil Dead, not just The Faculty, which is a 1998 cult classic, but almost every kind of horror movie ever made. And, and in a way, you probably never expected it. And, because it's basically just a horror comedy. That's what it is. This is a horror comedy. And try, it tries everything to incorporate quest and trauma for skills, humor, and, a, and even damn clever writing from Josh Whedon. And honestly, to say you're more willing to fun. So, as a fan of myself, I cannot spoil the ending. I cannot spoil everything. But one thing I do know is that you had to see this movie. It has to be seen to be believed. And, and I think that's why so many people consider it as a unique, scary movie. It's a film that you will enjoy having revealed to you, you know, and you get excited the more and more you start to figure it out. No. And when you do figure what it's up to, you realize you're having such fun with the concept and realize that not only is it paying homage to so many skill in Bobby Jean, but it's, but it's actually creating its own. You know the Scream franchise directed by Wes Craven, starring David Arquette, Dev Campbell, and Courtney Cox? Yes. That franchise had a meta perspective on the horror movie genre, uh, other, and this is exactly like that. Yes. And, 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 I mean, as you know, it's, it's not only like the meta, 
it's not it's an, and not only has the Benny Hill like screen like the screen franchise, but it takes it up to a whole new level that we never expected. Oh, and that's really a surprise. Hey, I mean, I can't I can't think of any other horror, horror comedy movies that have done specifically what this film has done. At least while still remaining as a whole. The discovery is too delicious to women, and I won't be the one to want to do it. So let's just say it's a ton of fun if you know the secret, but it's even more fun if you don't know. It works as both a great trick and treat on Halloween night. So again, I am not going to spoil the movie. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but I can say it's really fun to watch, and I definitely recommend it. So, so see you next week for another episode of the Sasha Queen. As Hit the like button, wait to come, put, put comments down in the description box below, and let me know what you think. I'm Emma Tartel, and the style should mean is almost close to the footy first. <laughs> so, yeah. So, see you next time.